কিং দ্রবর থা আইন জেলা হা কী বসাও কিন সং দ্রবর সুন্দ্রা হে কাকসন্দ্রিক নয়ল আজার ফুই কলাই কামাত একরেন ব্লাউ রাত ওমলি কংগ্রেস ন উমরয় বা জজ বি লিংদ বানপন কমা ইউ মন্ত্রী বদমি একনাথ কম্পো ইং সরকার জেলা হালো কে জাহার ব্লা উজোর পুরসা ইউ বি কি ডেফ উ বি কি ডেফ হা কি তেও কি বাই বালাদেব উলপন সফ্রিয়ং এখ বিডিও লিংবা কিরণ সান সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া ইয়ে জিংক্রেন কি বলং কিন সাইড উই ফের জাইবেন রেও হা ক জেলা উবা জজ উলাপন পাও কিন সোলং বাহাদু মন্তা অম্পাত কেম Now we come to item number two, call attention of this. Sri George Bilingdo, MLA, to call the attention of the Minister in Charge, Home Police, on the Rule 54.1 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business, to the news item published in the Unong Sain Hima, dated 31st August 2021, under the caption, La Jan Don Chisnem, Nado Ba Ai E Jahar Prasha Yo Biki De. Honorable Speaker, sir, I beg to move. We call attention motion on the Rule 51 or 54.1 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct Business to the news item published on Rong Sain Hima dated 31st August under the caption Ajan Don Shislam Nadu Ba'ai Ijahar Persia Yau PKD. Yeah, please. Sir, at the outset, I'd like to thank you for admitting this very important call attention motion. Pertaining to this news item, Ajan Don Shislam Nadu Ba'ai Ijahar Persia UVKD, which translates into it has been nearly one year since an FIR has been lodged against Wiki Day. Appearing in local Khasi Daily, Noksan Jima, dated 31st August 2021. Sir, when we go through the news item, sir, it speaks about an FIR that has been lodged against one Wiki Day. Who allegedly has spread hate video, a hate video that speaks ill and insults the citizens of Meghalaya since October 2020. The report also states, sir, that this Wiki Day has repeatedly committed this offence by circulating another hate video recently, which again repeats his hate messages. against the citizens of Meghalaya and also insults the leaders of our state, sir. Sir, there are a few inferences that can be drawn from this particular news item and the incident that it relates to. That there is a serious violation, sir, of freedom of speech and expression and this person is on a mission to tame the character of our Meghalaya citizens and to spread false information about the state, sir. The fact is that this person has repeated his actions of spreading hate and attempts to bring a communal divide, sir. It speaks of his agenda to malign the image of a state and there is an attempt to scare people also living in other parts of the country by spreading false information about the nature of our citizens and the atmosphere prevailing here, sir. I cannot repeat, sir, what he has said, as I cannot stoop to Hill's levels to repeat all those words that he has spoken against our people and against our state, sir. However, sir, I stand here to condemn his messages, condemn his videos, and urge upon the government to ensure that these videos are taken out of circulation immediately. Sir, one more disturbing fact from this news item is that it speaks about the inaction on an FIR that has been filed for nearly a year. Inaction on the behalf of the police department, sir. They seem to have given this wiki day a free hand and allowed him to spew venom and spread canards about our state and our citizens. So this inaction for the past one year has therefore encouraged this VKDA to spread even more videos. So this inaction of the state police sir, has led to people and citizens of the state drawing many conclusions. Number one, that our state police is incapable of responding to the challenges of hate crimes <coughs> that have been committed against us as a state by people from other parts of the country and other parts of the world. 
So, people are comparing this inaction of the state police against the prompt and swift action of Nagaland police and Arunachal police when such videos are being circulated at the internet or in social media, sir. That's number one, sir. Number two, sir, our state police is being tagged as incompetent and laid back. People are saying that the, peop the police, they brag about their bravery only in Shillong City. But then when it comes to standing up to real challenges, when it comes to defend the name of our state, our state police cannot muster that strength. This is the image that is being drawn from the inaction of the police. Sir. And with the recent events, People are saying that the state police can quickly murder a person at 3 a.m. in the morning who's lying on his sick bed. But when it comes to persons like Vicky Day, who has endangered the lives of our citizens living in other parts of the country, no action is being taken, sir. It speaks ill of the department. So, these are the messages that are being sent to the people, sir. And now we lack confidence on the competence of the police department, sir. Sir, I therefore brought this call attention to urge upon the state government to initiate action and prompt action, sir, against such individuals who spread hate, spread false information, and spread all these wrongful informations are about the state, tainting our image of the state, tainting the image of the citizens of the state, tainting the image of our leaders. So, law has to be enforced. And the enforcement agencies should not be seen lacking, sir, in their commitment when it comes to defending our state, whether on the ground or on virtual platforms. So, the police department needs to build an image of trust, build an image of confidence and sincerity in upholding the law so that people see in them as the true protectors of the state, sir. So these are a few submissions, sir, which I'd like to draw the attention of the government and the kind of messages that are being sent due to inaction, which brings about a very, very poor image of the department, which we need to pep up and ensure that action is taken answer under for or against such hate crimes sir ubin tirang ba ukonra sangma haba jubab ulai thu ba ka arterik unai lor ajar arpo katnat lumingjiri klayo priyang ek ejar bla ujor halo ka chingkran wikidi of social media hadin gani ya kania kamla it no hakatnat chela hakju upor ukonra ulai thu bla pha ek lu out notice chekba bon ki jala chongkari india hanrei hadu manta omsham la jubab satya at the very outset, I would like to thank the Honourable Member from Umroy, Sri George Bilingdo, who has tabled this call attention motion under Rule 54 of the Procedure and Conduct of Business of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly for the matter which is of urgent public importance in connection with the news item which appeared in U Nong Sanhima dated 31st August 2021 under the caption Lajan Don Shishnem Nadu Paai Ijar Prisha Yau Bikide. Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to inform this August House that on 2nd of September 2022, the officer in charge of Lumdingjiri PS lodged an FIR that one person, namely Biki De, had circulated a couple of videos in social media platforms like WhatsApp and Facebook, which are likely to incite communal tension between the tribals and non tribals in Meghalaya. In the video, Biki De stated that some NGOs are forcing non-tribal to shut down their businesses in places like Ishamati. As a result, Mr. Speaker, sir, a case by Lumdungjiri PS case number 
bracket 09 2020 u slash s 109 slash 153 slash 153 bracket a ipc was registered later the case was transferred to shella ps on the 10th of november 2020 as order dated 29th october 2020 passed by the additional district court judicial shillong and the case was re-registered by shella ps case number 02 bracket 01 2021u slash s 109 slash 153 slash 153 bracket a ipc and investigated into mr speaker sir on the 19th of october 2020 the government also received the complaint from dominic s wankar freelance columnist and political observer and jt lamare social worker against one wiki day two prantush sarkar three mridul das and four binayak roy for circulating false statements and information in the media and other social media platforms with deep rooted intention to cause serious breach of trust by their actions to the extent of misleading the honorable governor of meghalaya and the prime minister's office new delhi as a result a case by sardar sardar, sardar police station uh, sardar, sardar ps case number 258 bracket 11 2020 u s 153 bracket a bracket 1 bracket a slash 504 slash bracket 1 bracket b bracket c bracket 2 slash 34 ipc was registered and investigated into mr speaker sir during the course of investigation of the above referred cases a lookout notice was sent to superintendent of police north goa panaji and the superintendent of police south goa margao as the accused was suspected to be hiding somewhere in Goa. The Superintendent of Police North Goa and the Superintendent of Police South Goa informed that they could not trace the wanted accused person in their respective jurisdiction but are maintaining sharp lookout for him. Also a lookout notice was issued to the Commissioner of Police Lal Bazar Police Headquarter Kolkata but till date there has not been there has been no reply from Kolkata Police. Further, the Special Superintendent of Police CID, Meghalaya, <coughs> Shillong, has also sent a lookout notice to all the states in India, but there has not been, but there has been no reply from any state till date. Mr. Speaker, sir, since the accused is still absconding and evading police arrest, efforts are on to apprehend him at the earliest. Mr. Speaker, sir, both the cases mentioned above are still under investigation and the state police department is committed to apprehend the named accused. Uh, sir, uh, while uh, I was listening to the submissions of the honorable member, uh, the honorable member had uh, casted uh, doubt on the efficiency of the police uh, personnel in the police department and uh, made them look very incompetent uh, according to his statement. And uh, sir, at this point in time, I would like to state that it is sad that elected representatives today would look down on our police personnel in such a way. So the amount of effort, the amount of sacrifice, the number of hours that our police personnel put in just to keep us safe is unimaginable. And today, as a House and as members, to cast a doubt on their efficiency and on their intention uh, is really not fair. Yes, there could be shortcomings. Yes, there could be concerns where uh, we may not be able to uh, you know, move on certain areas. But that should not reflect and uh, make them look as if they are not competent and uh, not concerned about the state. <coughs> today, the kind of... Um, work that has been done by the police department even when the recent incidents took place it's because of the efforts put in by the officials and the police department as a whole that we are able to contain to large extent the different kind of incidents that uh, happened in the past and 
could have happened in the future, which was mentioned by the Honorable Home Minister yesterday, that there were informations about the fact that there could be a possible IED blast between 12th and 15th of August. My point being, sir, here is that, uh, that these concerns are there. One cannot deny that what Biki Day and the others have done has created a lot of tension. The acquisitions made against them are very serious. And what they have done has really created a lot of tension in terms of uh, the tribal versus non-tribal uh, issues, whether in Shillong or even outside uh, of our state. So therefore, the government and the police department is very serious on this. But then there are limitations when it comes to, uh, to law and order situations outside our state. But as I said, to cast any kind of doubt on the competency of the police, especially when it comes from an elected member, is something that will really demoralize the morale of the police. So I would request our members to, to restrain themselves, especially when they talk about this, because we need to realize, as I said, the morale of the police is very important, and they do give a lot of time. And if 99% goes well, they are never you know, congratulated. If 1% goes wrong, then everybody is after them for that 1%. So I think it's the duty of the elected representatives and the House as a whole to obviously bring out the issues and concerns, but we must also keep in mind that we work in a system and each and every official, especially police department, is responsible for the safety and security of our citizens and to maintain law and order. And I can assure the House that we will do everything in our capacity to ensure that we reach to the logical conclusion of this particular two cases. So with these few words and clarifications, sir, I would like to resume my seat. Thank you, sir. Actually, I would like to respond to the replies of the Honorable CM. When we were elected to this August House, sir, it is not a debate, but then clarity as to why we are here. We took oath, sir, that we stand by the Constitution of India to ensure that the fundamental rights of our citizens are upheld and we are their voice. The Honorable CM should have listened to my speech properly, sir. I said, the people are saying, and we are here the people's voice. It is not what I'm saying, sir. The image that is being drawn from this inaction, that is what is important, sir. Not my view. I appreciate the efforts being taken by our police department. But their inaction, sir, can create catastrophes. This particular video could have brought communal tension, communal conflict, and the kind of incidents that we had seen in our state, sir, we don't want them to be repeated. That is what I am saying. We are here to protect the Constitution, sir. And if such citizens are there in the country, in the state, who bring hate, who bring communal divide, we should take action, sir. And a lookout notice, what are they looking for for past one year? Past one year, where were they looking? And the Honorable CM in his reply said, they have written to several other states, no reply came. Isn't it the job, sir, of the department to ensure that replies come? Who will take the responsibility, sir, if there is a communal tension, communal conflict again in the state, sir? That is why, sir, I brought this call attention motion. It is to draw the attention of the government that action and inaction speaks volumes. Inaction sometimes, that 1% dilutes the entire 99% that you have put your effort on. We are all here, sir, to pep up, to give our efforts, to give confidence to the citizens of the state. But as leaders, when we are seen that we are not responding to the call of duty. As the department is not responding to the call of duty, sir, we have to take action. I'm not here to debate, sir. It is for the government, whether it responds to this call of attention or not, it is up to the government, sir. But the, my point is, I bring the voice of the people, their concerns, to the floor of the Goss House and expect results, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, this is not a debate, so I would not uh, want to reply too much. But I'm glad to hear that at least he said one good thing two good things about the police finally, sir, rather than just putting the blame on them all the time. So therefore, it's good, it's positive what he had said, and I have repeated uh, in my reply also, and I'm repeating again, sir, 
that we are very serious about this case. We will ensure that it reaches to the logical conclusion. We have been taking it very aggressively. Of course, the person has been, it seems, been moving around in different locations. Therefore, uh, the police in Goa also could not uh, locate him, and we are not getting the response from Kolkata also. Maybe they are also looking. So therefore, we are on it, sir, and I can assure the House that we will do everything in our capacity to make sure that this reaches to its logical conclusion.